this is not a drill, right? This is not an exercise. This is something everybody needs to be awake to and think critically about. And these conversations that that I've had, they, they can go off in all kinds of different directions. But the the underlying point here is that the, the CBDC, the central bank digital coin, is coming in one way, shape, or form. It's coming. Whether they they roll it out just as an interbank payments network first and then trickle it down into retail, who knows? Really, who knows? Whether they use it as a, a way for you to claim your social security payments um, and that's the carrot that they're going to dangle for people to enter into their central bank digital currency scheme. Again, who knows? that They could do both of those very easily. Do they have the technical ability to do it? Yes, of course, because they can hire whoever they want. They can hire the best developers, the best technicians, the best financiers that money could buy from anywhere to, to get this put in place. Um, do they know? This, this is where it gets tricky. Do they truly know the damage that this would do to humanity? That's okay. <laughs> because you can get very dark very dark there and um if you look at how the current financial system was put in place uh with the central banks around the world and especially the federal reserve in the us how that was put in place um in secret uh in the initial meetings i think were 1910 1911 and Jekyll Island in, in the US and by 1913 they had the Federal Reserve Act signed into power mm -hmm. over Christmas week at the end of uh, 1913 where pretty much half of Congress was on holiday that's how they got it through like these people will stop at nothing to get what they want when it comes to controlling the money mm -hmm. so if you work on that narrative on that historical view they're going to stop at nothing to put a CBDC in place. Absolutely. So what are you going to do as a citizen? What are you going to do? Are you going to fight that and just keep your euros or your pounds, which they will inflate to zero value and force you on to the CBDC? Or are you going to seriously start thinking about putting some of your wealth into Bitcoin which they cannot inflate, which they cannot control, which you will have complete self-sovereign power over if you self-custody it. So they're the kind of, these are the kind of conversations you need to be having with your friends, your family, yourself, more importantly, and really digging into what, what's going on in, in the financial world at the moment because Christine Lagarde, she <sighs> has made no secret of the fact the CBDC is coming. Yeah, She is not to be trusted. Absolutely. She was already found guilty once in the court of law for helping, aiding and abetting. She was found guilty of negligence. Um, IMF. Aiding and abetting the embezzlement of 400 million euros to one of Nicolas Sarkozy's aides whilst she was the head of the IMF. She mm -hmm. was found guilty for this. Found guilty. She didn't face any penalties and she didn't face any charges and she did not go to jail. Instead, she didn't work at the IMF anymore. She became the head of the ECB. There's Absolutely. no way in the world a deal wasn't cut between the people that wanted her to head the ECB who had the power to keep her out of jail. Like that's not conspiracy theory bullshit. That's like basic, obvious stuff. So there's a, an agenda. They want the CBDC and they want it as quickly as possible. 
The UK have talked about their own CBDC. They're going to call it Britcoin, which is just (laughs) the absolute worst. I hope they rebrand. Well, I hope they just don't bring it out at all. Um, But that's what's going on for anybody that's listening. Uh, You know, do not take this lightly. Please start educating yourself about Bitcoin.